case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1967, the then controversial case of Fisher v. Carousel Motor Hotel Inc. made its way to the Supreme Court of Texas. The case centered on whether an employer could be held liable for the malicious conduct of its employee if that employee was acting in a managerial capacity and within the scope of their employment. The lawsuit emerged from an incident where Fisher, a black man, attended a luncheon at the Brass Ring Club. Flynn, the club manager, snatched Fisher's plate and shouted that Fisher could not be served at the club due to his race. Though not physically harmed, Fisher felt humiliated and embarrassed in front of his colleagues, leading to him suing the Carousel Motor Hotel and Brass Ring Club, as well as Flynn individually, for actual and exemplary damages. Flynn later passed away, and the lawsuit against the hotel and club proceeded. The trial resulted in a win for Fisher, prompting the defendants to appeal. The Court of Civil Appeals affirmed the initial judgment, but the defendants sought further review. The main questions before the court were whether the defendants should be held responsible for Flynn's intentionally hurtful actions, and whether there was proof of an actionable battery. Ultimately, the court decided in favor of Fisher, holding the defendant liable for actual and exemplary damages. The court ruled that Flynn's conduct constituted an actionable battery meaning Fisher was entitled to recover damages. Based on a precedent-setting case, the defendant was deemed liable for their agent's conduct, resulting in Fisher recovering $900 in damages, interest from the judgment date, and the costs associated with the lawsuit. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class 